Civil Media. So what is interesting is that on the public funds, public resources, what we can see that we have rather active construction machinery, dredges, cranes, and you can see them at almost at every street. Uh, they're filling in the holes in, in the roads, especially in the Roma settlement. Even the, the Roma decade should be included, and all that is done just before the elections. I will not want to repeat what was previously said by the president of the Anti-Corruption Commission, because we still do not know what will be the outcome of the ongoing session. But what we can actually observe is that there is a misuse and abuse of public authorizations or official authorizations. What is interesting is that ministers and directors are directors only in, their, in the specific time, and afterwards they are free citizens where they support certain candidates and they promote what cannot and should not be promised during an election campaign. What is the most interesting moment is that on the very day when it started, April 1, following the completion of the election silence, automatically or overnight, actually, of the beginning of the election campaign, everyone changed their profile photo with the photo of the candidate they will vote. What is worrisome and uh, in, in our opinion, is that directors and holders of functions are the people who do that. For example, if a director changes their profile photo and puts a photo of a particular candidate, and he has uh, many employees under him who potentially do not agree with uh, with his decision we are talking, we know what the secrecy of, of voting means. We are actually perceiving encouraging of those employees in the state administrations in terms of who should they vote for, which is some form of pressure or some form of an attempt. Maybe it's not a misdemeanor or violation, but it is still something that sends a message to the employees and the civil servants who are they're under them and whose superior is them. Civil media.